Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily. It's Wednesday, January 11th, here with Greg Lawless. I'm Nick Fershaw from Kansas City, Missouri, site of the MLS Superdraft on Thursday, 12 noon Eastern on ESPN2, and you can follow along right here on MLSsoccer.com. Greg, you're back from Florida up to Kansas yep. City. You bring all the storylines with you from the Combine. What's the biggest headline going into the draft? Well, it's obviously who are the Montreal Impact going to take at number one, and it looks like it's coming down to one of two players. Darren Maddox from Akron or Andrew Wenger from Duke. People talk about Wenger as being a guy who can play anywhere on the field. Maddox, they're not sure whether he's a forward or, or a winger, but most people say he's more likely a forward. He's scored a lot of goals, even more than Zach Gawani and some of the other guys who've come out through Akron. A big decision for the Montreal yep. Impact. Again, they hold the number one pick in the Super Draft on Thursday. Let's talk a little bit about some news for the Chicago Fire, a big signing for them. Mm -hmm. Frederico Pupo, a Uruguayan striker. Chicago Fire going more and more to South and Central America. What do we expect from this guy? Well, he's coming in. He's going to be a guy who can play with Sebastian Grazzini, of course, the attacker up top for them. And, he, you know, he scored a bunch of goals for Danubio, a 25-year-old striker who has international experience, actually represented Uruguay at the 2011 Pan American Games down in Mexico last year, and scored a goal and a winner against Ecuador. Uh, so here's a guy who has some experience, good top-level experience, so I think it's something that they needed up top. You mentioned Grazzini. We saw such an impact that he mm -hmm. had uh, last year for the Chicago Fire. Almost got him to the postseason. Yep. Another big acquisition for the Chicago Fire. Uh, there's also a big acquisition for the Columbus crew, Ben Spees, the college hero both with Akron his junior year and then his senior year with North Carolina. Helped the Tar Heels win the College Cup uh, this past fall. Ben Spees signing a homegrown player deal uh, with the Columbus crew. That's his hometown team. He's very excited to be there. Yeah, he is. And, you know, he talked about how he grew up watching Brian Mazenoff, the old center midfielder for the Columbus crew, and then actually played with him a little bit mm -hmm. when Mazenoff was with the U-20s, or, sorry, the U-17s as an assistant coach. This is a good pickup for the crew because, let's not forget, we just learned yesterday that Robbie Rogers is going to be playing in England next year. He's signed with Leeds United over in the second division in England. And so this is a, a guy who might be able to come in and fill that role in the midfield. He's a guy who's played midfielder, and then he's played up top. He played mm -hmm. up top for the heels. Uh, last fall, Robert Warziha, the head coach of the Columbus crew, saying that more likely he's going to be a winger for the Columbus crew in 2012. Uh, one last bit of news we wanted to uh, let you know, there is a change in the format for the U.S. Open Cup going forward in 2012. You can find all the details right here on MLSsoccer.com. And don't forget, our live edition of Extra Time Radio right here on MLSsoccer.com. 8 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday night. We're going to uh, offer up one hour of pre-draft coverage. You can tweet us your questions about the draft at Extra Time Radio. We'll try and get to as many as we can. And again, the MLS Super Draft, Thursday, noon Eastern on ESPN2, and you can follow along right here on MLSsoccer.com.